Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, coach and trailer sales in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. Hope you're having a great day. It's uh, actually really warm here today for this time of the year. Uh, it's October and uh, nice out, like mid-70s all this week. Gets cold at night, cool at night, 45, 50 at night, but like mid-70s in the day. We'll take it. All right, I've got a nice one for you. Uh, it's a pre-owned 2020 Renegade Verona LE 40 LTS. So 40 foot overall length, three slides, 2020 model. So uh, built right before COVID hit. It was uh, manufactured in 19. It's a 2020 model, 34,000 miles, and some really, really nice upgrades. Of course, full body paint, three slides. Uh, it's got the L9 Cummins, which is a 360 horsepower engine. 20,000 pound towing capacity. And just a really cool layout. The Verona LE is, um, is definitely a nice step above the Verona. Uh, I guess after you go past the Verona LE, you get to like the Renegade Explorer, and then you go on to the Classic and the XL model. But this is... Um, a lot, a lot. This is like big coach features and big coach amenities, but in a smaller uh, frame, smaller chassis, bigger or better turning radius. Again, 20,000 pound hitch. Um, it's a 2020, so we, uh, we went ahead and put brand new steer tires on it. So brand new Michelin steer tires. Um, and there's the hitch. The gentleman that traded this in gave us or left the hitch with it. So it's a cool little hitch that shows you like how many pounds of tongue weight uh, you have on it. Seven-way plug, Voyager camera pickup there if you want or plug in if you've got it on your trailer. Um, again, excellent paint choice. Kind of, uh, We've got like a charcoal gray, some black, some white, kind of fades in and out. Uh, it's got a big patio awning, again, opposing slides up in the front. So you've got a uh, kitchen slide, and then you also have a slide out on the driver's side, which has theater seating and a booth-style dinette. Um, trying to think if there's anything. I think uh, looking at specs on this, 12-foot, 10 overall height, holds 100 gallons of fuel, 150 gallon fresh water capacity. So like all of the other uh, fellow Renegade models, big, big water capacity at 150 gallons. Um, 100 gallons of fuel, 75 gallons of gray, 75 gallons of black. And uh, this has like the 450, the Aqua Hot. It is the LE model. So it's not uh, the basic Verona, which they used either propane or the uh, 250 Aqua Hot. So uh, let me open up the baggage doors. We'll go through those. Um, and we'll continue right on into the inside. So appreciate you tuning in. If you're not a subscriber already, hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're 13,000 followers and growing, folks. So uh, looking forward to uh, having you along as part of our journey here through the coach business. And again, this coach is for sale. You can check out all the photos, probably 200 plus pictures at chasecoach.com. And um, just, you know, give us a call, look through all the photos and, um, uh, hopefully put a deal together with you. So uh, hang tight. I'm going to open up the baggage doors and I'll be right back. All right. Got everything opened up. Underneath the hood, uh, just as clean as the outside. Frame rails, everything. Super nice condition. Uh, the inside of the cab of this uh, Freightliner M2 chassis. Very simple, but nice. Air ride seats. Uh, the previous owner had took out the Garmin unit and put in a new Alpine unit with Apple CarPlay and everything. It, a lot of little custom upgrades that I'm going to show you as we go through. As I mentioned just a few minutes ago, Aqua Hot 450 Hydronic Heating System, which is the same one they put in like a lot of the classic models. Um, the factory little center console deal. Uh, he upgraded the, all the audio to the Alpine and JL Audio sub. The factory tile is there, but this is just a storage compartment. It's just where he happened to leave everything, all the kind of spare and upgraded parts at. Another big storage compartment with a power outlet out there. Uh, 30, 32 or 34 inch Samsung TV, Jensen Bluetooth with a built-in DVD player. I've got it just on the FM radio at the moment. Back here, Dometic. 
uh, slide out cooler. The cooler is brand new. Uh, so uh, when we made the deal, he wanted to take his cooler with him. So no sweat. We just put a brand new one in it. Uh, so brand new Dometic uh, dual zone cooler. You can uh, chill your beverage of choice in one side or you can freeze meat in the other side or you can do you know both freezer or both coolers. Back here is storage. And speaking of on that cooler, if you didn't you want the cooler, you could easily remove it and just use that as another, you know, storage bay. Back here, storage. Um, looks like the uh, two-inch ball that comes with that hitch is included. It's got the two and five sixteenths on it at the moment, and it does have the factory intervac system, uh, which is a um, central vac. It's got an outlet outside the coach and then one inside as well. And all of the hoses and everything are included on that too. Uh, back here is uh, the uh, left rear compartment. You have the 50 amp uh, powered retractable uh, shore power cord, like a 30, I think it's 33 or 34 foot cord on it. Your transfer switch there. 8,000 watt own end diesel generator, of course. With a diesel generator, it's going to pull from the diesel in the tanks uh, that the uh, engine's running off of. Looks like it was serviced at 326 hours. It's got 382, so plenty of time left there. Again, 8,000 watt own end diesel generator. Up here's the wet bay. So uh, as I brag on each and every time, Renegade has one of the simplest, neatest wet bays in, in this market. Uh, so we'll start at the bottom. You got a low point drain. If you're wanting to drain every last bit of water out of this, you would pull the drain under the bed to drain the water tanks. This is just the lowest plumbing point. So you'd open that. You do have a pressurized water spigot hose reel. Uh, it didn't come factory with a flow jet, but the gentleman, uh, you can hear that, there's a switch there. He he installed that, so it does have the flow jet. It's just not the, not the factory one. It was added after it was built. Uh, to put water in the coach, whoops, you've got this, um, there, uh, the uh, electric reel there. Let me put that little guy back on. So you basically just pull this out. Uh, it's on a retractable reel. Hook it up to your faucet turn the water pressure on. If you want to do city water, which means you're using like outside water pressure from your faucet, you raise the green lever up like that. You go down to fill the tanks and it's going to hold 150 gallons uh, back there under the bed. That has the black tank flush port, cable connection, black and gray dump tanks, whole house water filter. Uh, again, is, uh, as I always say, Renegade. Kudos on such a simple simple water bay. Um, again, it has the uh, macerator pump. If you don't want that, you, if, you, if you're just use, or used to using the three-inch hose, aka the stinky slinky, uh, you would just unhook this pump. It's tied in right under here uh, with the, the three-inch connection there, and you can hook a three-inch connection up just like you, you normally would have. So, uh, on a, you know just a basic RV. So 75 gallons of gray, 75 gallons of black. This one up here is storage. Looks like we've got uh, maybe the factory brake controller down there and the air hose. So uh, most of these coaches uh, that Renegade builds and sells has like a factory uh, air chuck fitting to where you can hook that air hose in uh, that's down there in that bag and you can actually use pressure from the engine uh, to uh, air up a tire, air up a bicycle inner tube, dirt bike, ATV, you name it, um, you can use that. Um, another big upgrade, he upgraded from the Magnum Energy to the newer style Victron 3000 watt inverter. Uh, it also has some huge solar panels. I don't remember what he told me the exact wattage was, but big upgrade there. Now here's probably the biggest upgrade. Uh, dual 460 amp hours, so 920 amp hours of lithium batteries. Very, very, very cool. And you know, I could have told you that this coach had lithium, and, and how I know it is when you run a, a battery bank that's that big and that strong, like when I was running earlier, when I was doing the photos and I was running the slides out, I can tell by just how perky that like the slide motor or the slide out mechanisms, everything just seems like it's almost like waking up from a good night's sleep. It just it just sounds better, it looks better. Uh, and when you're running the big um, high amp hour lithium batteries, you know, especially with a solar charging system like this one has, I just, it makes everything just function better. So you got your house batteries there, your engine batteries are over here, um, got more, electrical connections. Some of that stuff's going to the solar. 
Um, he had recently um, had these powder coated, the steps. They're normally silver. I like the black, had like a like a wrinkle finish put on them. Twin 50 gallon fuel tanks. So 150 gallon here, easy to fill up with your death. And then you got another 50 gallons on the other side. I can see more of the interior again air ride driver and passenger seats and these seats do spin around i forgot to take a photo of that earlier so i am going to do that the captain seats here in the cab they're heated too so you know you can do um, different supports with air you make the seat go up and down uh, set the tension on how it floats heat um, two sets of original keys once here once back there on the dinette table where i was taking the photos thirty four thousand three hundred and sixty seven miles uh recently been fully serviced and again it has uh, brand new michelin steer tires six speed allison automatic by the way you literally just fire the engine up let the air build up push the d for drive uh release the yellow parking brake and take off uh, it also has um turn the key on here uh, Alpine, big head unit here. And this guy, I, again, has a Sirius XM. Uh, it has the Apple CarPlay. He claims it was a massive upgrade versus the Garmin unit. So, But I think the Garmin stuff comes with it, too. So if you wanted the Garmin, no big deal. Uh, you do have factory engine brake installed. Uh, of course, your AC controls. A little console. I think, the, I think there's a sub in there, maybe. Uh, overhead is uh, Cobra CB radio. Yep. Horn blows. I um, think that's all in the cab. Oh, new style or more of an updated style electric brake controller. Let's see here. What am I missing? I don't think we looked at this side of the engine, but same deal. I mean, the framework, suspension, red Cummins under the hood. 360 horsepower. The L9, they call it. It's an 8.9 liter engine. Um, let's go inside real quick because I want to show you what it looks like with the slides in and then uh, I'll run the awning and run the slides out and um, we will finish up. So uh, as we make our way inside, you'll notice it has like the solid surface steps, which makes it very easy to keep cleaned. Um, so this one does have dual opposing slides, which makes for a super roomy area when you get to where you're going. Now, going down the road, when you have opposing slides up in the front, it does make it a little tighter. So let me kind of zoom out there. There we go. Uh, you see kitchen at cooktop, microwave, TV, and everything here on the passenger side, theater seating here. I mean, there's, granted, there's enough room. I mean, I can, you know, just walk right up through here, full walk through cab, so no bunk overhead, easy to get up out of the chair and turn around. You've got probably... I don't know, eight to nine inches between the sofa love seat and the theater seats. Uh, but you do have full access to the bath. You can easily access the fridge. As you can see, it has a residential fridge with a freezer in the bottom. There, by the way, before I forget, there's your central vac hookup right here below the washing machine. Tile floor, easy to get to the bathroom shower. It's a mid-bath unit. So we'll turn around here and you can see the vanity and uh, then overhead, you got some storage and stuff. But anyways, point of coming in here now is I wanted to show you with the slides in what kind of room you're looking at. You can easily access the dinette uh, and uh, and make your way up through here. So give me just a moment. I'm going to bump these slides out, run the awning out to show you that, and we'll get everything finished up. Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, chasecoach.com for price and pictures and and uh, all D all the above on the info. So if you're interested, give us a call and uh, we'd love to make a deal with you. Hang tight and I'll be right back. All right, got all the slides opened up. Got the uh, Gerard awning ran out here. Very nice. Again, three slides on this one. So two on the passenger side, one. We'll make our way back around and show you that one on the driver's side. The paint's in really good shape on this, too. Um, it's uh, the, the colors are right, and the condition is extremely nice. Going to give you an up close. Got a little pearl in it. I don't know if you can see that if the camera is picking that up there. Very, very, very clean look to it. 
we've been busy. Um, shop's been busy. Sales, selling a lot of units. So appreciate each and every one of you. But you've got to adjust this. So when you open the door here, this is supposed to just come with it. And how you change that is setting like the, the left to right of that. And what it does is holds that back a certain degree. And what it's doing is pushing that in further. So you move that back. But anyways, I always, when I do the photos, we have a really good quality control program here. And um, when I do the photos, I always make a list of, you know, little things that we see. Um, so we'll get that taken care of. But anyways, now to the good part. I know we were just in here, but if you remember... We had like, what, eight to nine inches, I think I said, between the sofa love seat and the theater seat. Holy cow. Look at it now. So we'll start here. So mid-entry, okay? Mid-entry, you come in, you got a little pantry storage. And this is where Renegade just thinks outside the box. Neat little stainless hardware. And that little Teflon piece is so it doesn't scratch your cabinets. And this has a high-gloss finish set of cabinets. So it's got a, like a glossy look. But how cool is that? Maple cabinets throughout, uh, the people that have built cabinets are Renegade. They've done it for years um, and been exclusive to Renegade. So they know the cabinets inside and out. Nice kitchen area, uh, big sink. You got the two burner induction cooktop. And I do have the covers for these as well. Um, got them stored uh, down here for now, but I've got the you know cover that makes that flush. This one, uh, Samsung convection microwave oven. The TV is off. I have that guy on. Let me turn it. See if we can crank him back up here. There we go. Uh, it's got the live air TV too. So you'll see here in a second that's going to pop up. But it's probably a 50 inch Samsung and it it comes in uh, or it sits down in the cabinet there behind the love seat. So when you're traveling, you know, typically I would recommend having it down. The reason is you've got a window behind that. So if you were driving and looked up and over uh, your shoulder, you know, to the passenger side of the coach, you could see out that window. But uh, this little guy here, it's not super small. I mean, I'd say it's probably, I don't know, five, five foot wide. Uh, it turns into a sofa high or a little height of bed. So all you do is raise up on this bottom, pull out and down and boom, you got a little place for someone to sleep. Uh, again, the both seats swivel around driver and passenger air ride, just a super simple cab setup. It uh, does have the privacy curtain, so you pull a little Velcro. This one goes around to the middle. Same deal with this one. They meet in the middle for full privacy. Theater seats uh, with the uh, recline option, so you just pull this little cable, and boom, there you go. Nice cup holders between. This is a good feature to have here. Uh, you've got an electrical outlet, place to keep all your TV remotes or some books that you're reading and stuff like that. And one thing Renegade started doing a few years ago was putting the outlets in with the built-in USBs. I mean, why not? Because typically, what's the first thing you plug into one of those outlets? The little, you know, square block to charge your phone. Uh, again, lots of overhead cabinets uh, through there. The dinette uh, does convert into a bed. Again, at chasecoach.com, we got some photos of that um, drawer. You can pull that out and uh, store stuff in it. This center leaf drops down, and then there's a black cushion that sets that bridges, you know, the two booths and turns it into a neat little bed. All of the original manuals, you know, you see 2020 Renegade Verona LE 40 LTS, engine manual, chassis manual, spare set of keys. The other set is in the ignition up there. Um, residential fridge. So this is one of the things your inverter, like right now, we're not plugged up to shore power. And uh, I've got the TV on um, and uh, the fridge is ice cold, freezer is cold. So pull out freezer, you got an ice there if you wanna turn the ice feature on, but plenty of room in this guy to store whatever you want, you know, similar to one you would have in a house. Washer and dryers here kind of in the middle before we get to the bathroom. Washing machine on the bottom, uh, dryer up here on the top. I don't think that stuff's ever been used. It looks brand new. Uh, the vanity area. Very simple, um, easy to use. Some overhead cabinetry here. You got the medicine cabinet place to store some stuff. Pocket doors too. So you got one here. This one slides. Um, I've got the little safety up there on it. But anyways, it slides from here over to here. So you block that part. You've got another one on the bedroom. Okay, you can see this one. And the doors, just the, the quality of the doors they use is incredible compared to some of their competitors. 
um, tile floor throughout. In here, you've got the uh, Tecmo, one of the porcelain electric flush toilets. Um, over here, nice size shower. Uh, it's kind of like a needle angle, but like a radius glass door. So both of the pieces of glass split and open up. Plenty of room with the overhead skylight and the nice vent fan. So take you a hot, steamy shower. Uh, if you've got 150 gallons of fresh water on board, guess what? You got 150 gallons of hot water. It's instant hot. Um, when the uh, aqua hot system is up to temp, you just turn it on and it's there. So um, the diesel fired system on the aqua hot is uh, definitely uh, the best way to go. It has an electric side as well, but the diesel side is definitely going to put out, produce more BTUs, so more heat. Back here in the bedroom, and speaking of, one thing I want to touch on, we will explain all these systems to you. You may go, dude, I've never heard of Aqua Hot. Explain. So we can make a video. We can demonstrate. Uh, we would uh, we would love to do, do the orientation here at our shop. So uh, if you want to come down and just spend a couple days with us, we're here at your mercy. So we'd love to uh, to show you everything about this. Uh, if you're the, the the future owner of it. Nice cabinetry, lots of drawers for your, your clothes and stuff. Um, this one, you can see they dovetail all the edges. Uh, very nice there. Two big drawers there and then some uh, smaller ones over here. Excellent wardrobe area in this one. You can just see the, the quality. I mean, just look how wide the wood is. Uh, no particle board. I mean, this is, this is the legit deal. TV, I think it's a 32 or 34 inch here in the bedroom. Got that on just live air TV. So that's no subscription. I literally went to the settings in the TV. I done a live air channel search, turned the wine guard, the live air antenna. It's just like a, basically a glorified digital set of rabbit ears. And you see what we have. I like this too. Place to set your stuff at night. Now, the mattress in this thing. Holy cow. It about got me fired for sleeping on the job. I'm not kidding. Amazing mattress. In fact, when we took this on trade, the one, the uh, classic that the gentleman traded up towards, um, he, you know, I mentioned, I said, man, you want to keep your mattress? Because the mattress that's in this Verona is a super expensive mattress. And he said, yeah, man, if it'll fit. Well, we measured in the mattress in his classic uh, was the uh, 66 by 80, and I think this is the 72. I know this is wider, and the one in his classic he bought was a 66. So um, nice, nice mattress, pillow top. Uh, this is cool. So when you get the wider mattress, they put you a little holder out here for your drink or your phone, plug in right there. Same deal over there on the other side. Got some nice, uh, nice headboard area in this one and uh, some cabinets overhead. Again, 40-foot overall length, so... Uh, you get a lot of the amenities that you would get in a 45-foot coach. Uh, it's just a little easier to maneuver. It's definitely going to turn tighter. Uh, the opposing slides up here are amazing. Uh, the tile floor is in good shape. It's got like a high-gloss finish, which I like too. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. What did I miss? What did I miss telling you? I think that's it. 34,000 miles uh, this coach is available, again, price and everything at chasecoach.com. You can even, if you're interested in financing, you can call. We can do an app over the phone, or you can actually fill it out on our website now. So we're trying to make things easier for you. Um, let us know if you have any questions. would love to work with you. Trades accepted. Uh, we deliver nationwide, and, and like I said, we finance terms up to 20 years. The rates are competitive with, with anyone you're going to compare to, so... I uh, would love to uh, to work with you. Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. Thanks for watching. Hey, hit that subscribe button and have a great day. Until next time.